When you talk about note taking apps, the first two that people talk about are Evernote and Notion. Of both the products, Evernote is much older and has enjoyed its status of being a very popular note taking app for a decade. Notion is a 2016 launched product, but it's a very different one today than the one that we started with. I have used both of them quite extensively at work and for my personal use. And here's what I learned from using both the apps. I will compare the apps features and functionalities, rank them and give you my final thoughts right at the end. I don't get paid by either Evernote or Notion. So this is as honest as it gets. I use plenty, plenty of apps. I have tested over 250 apps for the Mac. Many of these apps work in the background without me realizing that I'm actually using it. That experience of using so many apps gives me a quick knowledge about what to look out for at both work and as well as my personal life. I choose them based on a four criteria framework. They solve a big problem for me in the best way. It's easy to use on a daily basis. Decisions based on best of breed versus generalist functionality that is needed. And last, the problem is worth paying for. Let's start with Evernote first. Evernote has actually been around for a long time. And in that time, it's become pretty useful at work for note taking and for capturing business cards, for example, as well as its fantastic web clipping feature. It's actually quite a simple app and it's really easy to use. So when Notion came along and had a feature set that's quite rich and a little different, it warranted me to look at it very seriously. When you open the Evernote app, you are struck by the simplicity and the pleasantness of the layout. Evernote appears structured with its sections, but by the time you hit the end of the page, you stare at the fact that you need to get to Evernote Premium with all the limitations of the free package mentioned upfront. While for the notes section, it feels like a standard word processing document like Microsoft Word. Each of the lines can be adjusted by just dragging it above or below, a feature that compares to how Notion is structured using blocks. With insert, you can add different types of blocks into your notes. The fact that people are used to navigation bars, that breeds extreme familiarity and that makes the entire experience pretty nice. In stark contrast, Notion's front page is quite naked. It pretty much has the same features, just that they are laid out very differently. And there is a learning curve to understand where you're placed. If you're a new user for Evernote on for Notion, then you might get attracted to Evernote quite quickly because of its homepage. But you will realize that within a few hours that removes all the apprehensions on what Notion can do. There is one difference though. You can sketch inside of Evernote while you just can't do that inside of Notion. For me, the winner for simplicity is Evernote. The core purpose for which Evernote was initially built and additionally bolted on functionality helps Evernote retain its core value proposition, simple note taking. You will find a number of YouTubers, for example, relying on Evernote to write their scripts and use it in reference while they talk back on camera. However, note taking itself is quite a complicated topic since the purpose for which could be to write notes from education to research or taking down meeting notes. But if I were to restrict this discussion between Notion and Evernotes, without a doubt Evernote wins just for handwriting. But Notion has played its card as a many tool replacement generalist by adding calendars, templates, databases, both standalone and relational and they can be used very effectively with notes and the recently added link notes and sync notes features enhance its note taking capabilities. So between Evernotes and Notion, just for the pure note taking functionality alone, the balance is tilting more in favor of Notion. 
One thing I'd like to say here is that Evernote possibly handles PDFs better than Notion at this point. So for me, this round is a draw. Calendars, tasks, meetings, and projects are a complex subject. Evernote has recently introduced a rather simple task management functionality to link to notes, and the tasks can be added right from the notes page itself. That is a pretty neat feature, but not a comprehensive task management system that you may want. The calendar and other task management apps do task management pretty well, but not good project management. And this is where Notion shines. With the new API feature, it integrates to the front end with an efficient calendar, tasks, and meetings management. And you can configure the task management and the recurring tasks at the back end to your liking. I have used OmniFocus and Todoist extensively, and I find that Notion is quickly replaced my recommendation for the most comprehensive task management system that's out there. So my winner for this round is Notion for its calendar, tasks, recurring tasks, projects, and meetings. An important point to consider is how would you use the app? Many users have asked for offline usage, both for Evernote and for Notion in the past. Evernote was the first to implement this to take notes when it is offline. Evernote notes need to be downloaded for offline use, which is downloaded into the cache so that once you're off the grid, the notes can be used. You will notice here though, it's only available for Evernote's premium and not for the standard plan. In Notion's case, however, it's auto caches based on the page that is open and downloads it offline. You can continue to create notes offline and it will auto-sync again once you're back online. So in terms of both of these, it's similar, but both are not perfect. So the winner of this round for me is a draw. Notion is open build and Evernote is an app with a specific build. So Notion has been built to be more flexible and you can build any app of your choosing and you have flexibility of downloading a plethora of templates, both free as well as paid. Evernote today is just a note-taking app, but it's wanting to do more. And with their new CEO, it's going in that direction. So if you're considering adding functionality beyond note-taking, Notion is quickly taking the cake. To give you an example, my business sales, CRM, accounting, dashboards, projects, knowledge management, a second brain, and calendars and tasks are all built into Notion. Personally, I use it for tracking areas like bill payments, habits, reading, and quick notes. My entire YouTube channel relies on the project management functionality inside of Notion. The entire strategy and deep thinking is documented all within Notion. If I were to use Evernote, I would have so many apps having to fill in for that missing functionality and detail. The clear winner for this round is Notion for functionality. Both Evernote and Notion are built from folder-like structures. You can nest folders inside of Evernote by following a stack approach and adding a stack of notebooks inside one which is pretty useful when you're taking notes, say, for different subjects. The flexibility of Notion to appear like a web page with unlimited nesting, interconnections, pulling up things with sync blocks makes organizing your work much more flexible. So if you're an unstructured person who needs some rigidity, then it's Evernote. Whereas if you're looking at complete flexibility and autonomy, then it's Notion. So for me, the winner of this round is a draw. Notion has a good search function for all the text that resides within Notion. Evernote takes it a step further by allowing you to search inside of PDFs and documents with its premium plan. This function of Evernote is one of the biggest things that differentiates it with Notion. So for me, the winner of this round is Evernote. 
most of the consumer level functions are pretty much brought out to Notion for free. And unless you're constantly sharing pages or are working in teams or in an enterprise environment with different security protocols, you can pretty much survive with a free plan. Evernote on the other hand, gives you a limited quantity of freebies and in fact restricts you to two devices under the free plan. So you will get this constant feeling that Notion is providing a lot more versus Evernote and Evernote is definitely overpriced for these functionalities. The winner for this round for me is Notion. If you asked me a few months back, Notion had no APIs and Evernote had very standard APIs built out. So at that point, Notion would not be competing in this space. Evernote's APIs are centered around its note-taking capabilities for developers with additions for images, scans, etc. With Notion's versatile functionality, it has the need to integrate with many small business level functions in addition to personal databases and notes as well. So when Notion launched the public beta of the API, and I've experienced this over the last 30 days, I got to feel the real power of Notion. So for me, the winner of this round is Notion. In today's day and age, there's a constant shift from apps to no-code applications. That means you can create functionality by configuration and you don't need to live with what is given. And frankly, there is no competition in this segment and the number of possibilities that Notion can provide is immense. The winner for this round is Notion. Given Evernote's seniority, Evernote has a high following. The thing with notes is that moving notes and porting them from one platform to another is quite painful. So a lot of Evernote loyalists have remained with Evernote. For people who want functionality, flexibility, customization have drifted to no code apps and the largest share of the pie is being taken by Notion. Notion is not perfect, but neither is Evernote. Both teams have some work to do in terms of making sure that user satisfaction moves from acceptable to excellent. So the winner for this round is a draw. If you are looking for a simple note-taking app, you are more likely to drift towards Evernote. But as soon as you start stacking apps, one on top of the other, you will fall on the side of Notion. So what's my recommendation? When I look at both apps, I like Evernote's UI, especially the homepage. And I wish Notion could look like that and improve its own. In terms of functionality, customization and performance, Notion is far ahead significantly. If you're not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like this video, consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.